Hello, welcome to Dan Makes Things. My name's Dan, and I'm building a desktop companion robot. In the last update, I redesigned and rebuilt the legs to allow for a greater range of motion on the knee joint. Now I want to recalibrate the legs to take advantage of the new hardware. The legs are controlled by an Arduino Pro Mini in the body, which is running a piece of code called a sketch that tracks the servo positions and also manages the minimum and maximum range of motion on each servo. Tracking the range is critical, because if a servo were to overextend, it would impact another part of the model, which would cause damage to either the servo or the leg itself. More complex robots that self-calibrate typically have limit switches installed, so that when the end of the range of motion is reached, the switch is triggered and it prevents overextension. But this design doesn't have those switches in place, so it needs to be calibrated manually by storing the minimum and maximum positions. The positions are stored in arrays in the sketch, and these need to be reset every time a design is changed. Previously, calibrating these servos involved making changes to the values manually and uploading the sketch again to the Arduino. The problem is, this is a very lengthy process and not fun to iterate with. For this reason, I've recently added a calibration action to the sketch. To enable this, just jump into the config.h file and uncomment this define. This will override the default behavior and allow you to enter a loop in the serial monitor that looks something like this. The loop first moves the servos to the 90 degree position to help with manual alignment. I'd recommend you start the servo without the gears attached. Then add the gears with the legs manually positioned at the midpoint in the range of each servo. The exception may be the knee, where you find you need to set the servo position to 0 or 180 for the opposite leg, and then attach the gear once the leg is in the most closed position possible. The script will iterate through each of the servos and allow you to manually control the rotation angle. Just enter a value between 0 and 180 and hit return. Once you're happy with the servo position, hit return without entering a value. This will move on to the next servo. Once all the servos have been set, the script will output the values for each, so you can copy them into the sketch. It then begins the loop again. The values aren't stored in the code, so make sure you copy and paste them into the appropriate array once they're done to save them permanently. A quick warning here, normally there's a safety feature enabled in the servo management library, so you can't overextend the servos, but in calibration mode this safety feature is disabled so you can quite easily damage the hardware if you aren't careful. Setting each servo individually is useful for defining the minimum and maximum values in the range of motion. But to define different poses on the leg, you may want to set the values on one leg and have the other leg mirror that position. In order to enable this, go back to config.h and enable the define to allow symmetric calibration. Once deployed, you can adjust the individual joints on one leg and you'll see that the other leg is automatically calculated to the mirror position. There's also a balancing algorithm in place using the MPU 6050 to adjust the position of the body and inverse kinematics to calculate the leg position once they've been calibrated. If you're interested in either of these, take a look at the code, link in the description. If you'd like to build a robot yourself, you can find links on the website to the files and code. Everything is open source. Also, feel free to reach out on the Discord server if you have questions. Thanks for watching.